the moment we found this historical event, we knew this had to be the basis of it. It was a way to tell a story of, of uh, unity and uh, protest. And it's, it's an origin story. It's the very first strike by women for women. So first of all, um, the story you told in Enola Holmes 2 is based on the real life match girls strike of 1888. Can you start by telling me what do you think makes this such a fitting follow up to the first film? The first one had an historical event at the heart of it too. It was the Great Reform Act. It was about the vote and the suffrage in our country at that time. This was uh, a departure and an advance, I think, on, on Enola's journey towards suffrage and empowerment and uh, spreading the word of, of, uh, of, of women's rights. In this case, though, it's got an industrial basis and it was far more dangerous and had far more lives at stake. We were looking to tell a story that could run through and inspire the second film. Um, and we were looking for something that involves sisterhood. I wanted to bring Anola together with women and girls of her own age, but of a very different background. And the moment we found this historical event, we knew this had to be the basis of it. It was a way to tell a story of, of uh, unity and uh, protest. And it's, it's an origin story. It's the very first strike by women for women. And on that note, what were your goals and ideas for building on each character from the first film in the sequel? Well, Enola was going to have to grow up and uh, she was going to have to learn to stand on her own two feet as a detective, as in her own right. So we set her that goal. Um, Sherlock, we wanted him and his sister to solve a case together and uh, that that case would inevitably have to be really complex, more complex than the simple things that Sherlock had to deal with in the first film. So we had to raise that stake. Uh, and we also had to find more adventure in the film. We thought that the mother could involve her in some kind of chase and that's how the carriage chase evolved. So I guess we were turning up the dial in a lot of areas. And it always had to be led by uh, the, the development of Enola's character, because really what the films, they're the films of the, of the progress and the, the stages of a young woman's life. Like in the first Enola Holmes movie, the sequel features such elaborate set designs. What is the process like of creating a world in which everything from the costumes to the buildings and the background represent the era in which the story is set? Well, it's a real challenge when you're shooting in London. Uh, an older city is always the toughest thing to reproduce, especially in in England and London, because we don't have many much of that left because it was bombed by Hitler in the in the Second World War. So we had to look outside London for a lot of those locations, um, Hull and Kent and, and other places to find streets that could work as London in that time. Um, that was the tough thing. The fun thing was the design that went into those spaces and also the way the costume designer, Consolata, worked so closely with Michael Carl and the production designer. I really encourage dialogue between departments, probably more than most directors, and I get people to make friends and work with each other. There's no competition. We're all working towards the same end. And so that's where one of the most delightful things I I can feel when I watch the film, the first big night scene when Enola goes to follow May down the street, you will see um, a, a, a gas lamp in the foreground and beyond a, a street full of mist and traffic and people in different costumes. And one costume, May's, stands out and she's lit perfectly. Giles, the DOP, the designer, costume designer, everything was worked out and it was designed like a painting and that was all their work. They did that, they worked it out together. Great co great collaboration. You know, the, the theme of collaboration is in the practice and the execution as well as the story of the film. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today, Harry. Congratulations on this film and I wish you all the best. Pleasure, thanks.